Now that the Porsche GT3R is full in effect in season three of iRacing, I have found new love in the Fanatec GT3 Challenge fixed series race. Reason for this is it gives them an opportunity to do, I guess what could be described as a racquetball of racing. They're 20 minute races. Um, they are, uh, uh, of course, you know, I racing open lobby type races uh, based on I rating and uh, the strength of field is similar to what your I rating is. So you're in theory racing against people at similar levels as you move through. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, I, I realize that um, many of you probably have done uh, I racing standard series and have walked away um, really upset with the quality of racing. Um, I know that that was definitely true in the Mazda Rookie Series um, and even in some of the D-Class races and the Roof and the um, uh, the Radical that, that I've raced in where, you know, you have some difficulty sometimes with some of the racers on there and, you know, Rex and, and stuff. Um, the Porsche offers an opportunity for me to practice in a car that I like to race in league racing um, with the PCA Sim Racing League. Um, so I, I figured that I'd, I'd jump back in. And I gotta say, I haven't been disappointed. The quality of racing has been actually quite good. Um, and uh, right now I didn't I didn't actually participate in um, season three, week one um, at Road Atlanta because I was prepping for the six hours at the Glen, but uh, decided to jump in in a track that I'd never driven previously, uh, the Hockenheim Ring, um, the Grand Prix circuit there. And uh, uh, it was fun. I did a lot of prep, did uh, some racing, did some practice sessions, and uh, did two uh, series races, because um, you can enter a node four without it uh, negatively impacting the points and splitting up. And so I did uh, two races. Um, the first one, I actually, I did quite well. Um, I finished second. Um, it was a strength of field of 800 and something. So it's pretty low. It's been a while since I've tended to my I rating. Um, but the second race was a strength of field of 1160 and uh, a little bit more quality. Um, I managed to qualify fourth and uh, started the race and uh, wanted to show it to you guys. So hopefully you enjoy this. I'm um, not going to do any voiceover for the actual race itself, so it is from the replay. You'll see uh, the track, uh, uh, the car on track, and the competition, and uh, I'll do a quick wrap-up at the end. Okay, Chip, stay calm, focus. Green, 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 you've got one gallon left.
Schmidt is now leading. P3's gone off in turn 13. The gap to Macedo behind is increasing. It's now 2.1.
in front is now 3.3. The gap to Masada behind is increasing, it's now 1.2 seconds. That's five minutes to go, come on, keep it together, we'll be on the podium here. The gap to Masado behind is now 4.8 seconds.
We think P2 has gone off in Sachs. That's two minutes left, two minutes. Hello, dude. Who's been it in sacks? <laughs> Thank you. 
keep pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 5.7. So it was a fun little race. Um, love this track. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a little bit of a challenge in some places, especially that hairpin, especially as the track temperatures go up. Very, very challenging track. But uh, things worked out pretty well. Um, as you know, I qualified fourth. Um, I finished second, which um, actually, at the start of the race, I wasn't as convinced that that was going to uh, happen. The guys that were in front of me, qualified ahead of me, were really quite quick. But uh, one guy had an incident early on, moved me into third, rode in third for quite a while, and then the P2 car suddenly lost it in Saks, which is <laughs> an interesting place to lose it, really. Um, but he did it two laps in a row. He, uh, he had a problem that uh, dropped him back from the, uh, the leader, and <clears throat> then on the, the, the next lap, or the lap after the next lap, he had the problem in the exact same place and had a really bad off track, and that's when I overtook him. So um, all in all, a good race for me. At one incident point, I overshot an exit and uh, just went over just a hair. Um, I got a one incident point, um, ended up getting 86 I rating bump from that. Um, which is second only to the first place finisher who got a 94 point bump. Um, and then uh, because of the one incident, I got a 0.06 uh, uh, increase in my um, safety rating. So not a horrible race for me. So uh, the, the whole point of this really is that if you want to learn the car, you want to drive in some traffic, and maybe you want to work on your eye rating a little. <clears throat> this car really lends itself, and this series really lends itself to doing so in uh, nice bite-sized chunks. 20-minute race is, is just about right for getting a feel for the car, um, doing some hot laps, and uh, getting some outcome. Of course, there are other races that you can race with this car as well. The IMSA series is, uh, I think, a 45-minute race. But this is the one where you got, you know, like like type cars, GT3 class cars on track um, and can, you know, do some beat down on some other uh, other marks that are, are kind of fun to beat down in a Porsche. So anyway, um, hope you enjoy this. And uh, if you uh, do like it, please uh, subscribe so you know when I launch new videos um, and uh, like the video so that it shows up for other folks uh, with the YouTube algorithm. So anyway, thanks. <laughs>